Welcome back. Oh, scouts, 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 scouts. Guess we'll keep some of that going. Get you guys back to working. Yeah, hello. Back to more Isabella of Castile. Anyway, hopefully we will be getting some more gold income in the short run. And that will ideally allow us to train a bit of a better army. Oh, I can't see how much these guys cost, which is a little frustrating. Well, Cyan really isn't too much of an issue. It's mostly blue, because they have Cavaliers. They've got uh, Imperial Age Blacksmith upgrades. Take control of that hill. You go kill that guy. Let's get these guys back to order. Where on earth did... Oh. There you go. Awesome. We got our uh, special monk back. Now it's going to be about keeping our population high enough. Also, maybe we should consider a switch over in to... Hand cannons. Because they do make a lot of just infantry. Also, I do want... to explore a bit. Find maybe Medina del Campo. Because remember them saying that he could be an ally. But let, yeah, let's just see if we can keep growing our population. That's kind of the, the number one goal. Oh, 
Okay, so there are a bunch of random orange units running around the countryside. Oh, wait, there's gold over there. And a lot of it. Okay. Get a bunch of light cav. They won't help us too much in this fight, but they will help in clearing out Orange's units. It is to be hoped. Oh, no, no. Send some dudes to yellow, hopefully. I mean, we're still at 150 pop. Let's see what's to the south as well. Okay, now we're starting to make stuff happen. Camel archers and such. Well, uh, yeah, let's back up just a little bit. Oh, what's all this? Anyway, we still made a good dent. Riding heretics. Hmm. Whoa, they have some relics in here. You back, give our knight some more attack. Okay, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Mm. 
It's not like they have to make trash units. No, we need to only start pushing when we have around 150 pop. Oh my god, Cyan, stop it! At least those guys get picked off pretty quickly. Oh man, these bri th this bridge is very hard to push. Okay, let's try going after the fortress, guys. Your Majesty Alfonso and Isabella, convert the... Oh. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's just take down this fortress first. Can do that. Hopefully that will cause Blue to resign or something. That is to be hoped. Yes! King Enrique has escaped. Their armies are defeated too. Almedo's victory is ours. Long live King Alfonso! Thank God! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Uh, yeah, we do need to pick up Redemption, though. So it can convert the mosque. Because our population has seen better days. Granted, I don't think we'll need as much population anymore because we don't have to deal with blue frickin' attacking us. Wait, why are you guys over here? It's just, it's really hard to replenish villagers, remember? I mean, it's it's slow. That's the, the main thing. Is that a llama? It looks like a llama. Worship the llama! Oh. 
Anyway, I think if we camp their production over here, we should be all right. Clear out everyone over there. Do that. I can't get actually access Medina de Campo. Oh. Uh, the town can finally return to Calm. We are willing to provide you with additional personnel. You can also research more advanced equipment at the blacksmith. hey -o! Monday. It's got a castle up over here. And we're getting attacked over here, which is less awesome. God, stop it! Construir. See if I can actually get a unit in over there. Otherwise, like, what's the purpose of yellow? Oh, there's more gold that way. Helpful, helpful. Come on, Capgram train. Let us leave the station. Oh, hey, I got the stable. Nice. See what's over that way. And we're still only on 82 vills. But I'm beginning to feel more confident now that we have... We got rid of purple, we got even rid of orange. Wait, I, hear, I heard Gaia sounds. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I guess we get all that stuff. Okay, those are elite Teutonic Knights. Okay, so they still have stuff over there. Hopefully it's not too big of an issue. Oh, howdy ho, my bro. Okay, there's green. 
Let's see if we can make it to uh, Segovia here. Liberator Sis. Everyone take up arms. Okay. Oh my god, I hope this is not the only way to get in- I, and I hope it's not just like a bunch of infinite unit spam. Cause oh my god is this an incredibly well defended area. Like, this is actually absurd, that I have to break this with just Castle Age units. Okay, at least they only make mangonels and not onagers, I suppose? Okay, well, those are more onagers. Oh, okay, so I at least capture these buildings once I uh, requisition them. Oh, wait, they have a wonder. Or monument that now looks like the Torre del Oro. We're not in Sevilla. The Hapope. Everybody loves the Hapope. Those Teutonic Knights are pretty darn good against my uh, cavalry units. Whoa! Oh yeah, I have plus six now because of Blast Furnace. That's pretty nice. Uh. Oh, maybe we can sneak in... Uh Alfonso? Uh, dear Alfonso, it's good to see you again. Uh, Queen Juana has escaped. I'm safe and sound. Please allow me to support you along with your army. Uh, Majesty Alfonso is Bella. Wondering whether I should support you or Enrique. If possible, could you come to me to discuss related matters? Oh, okay, I guess we come with him at the end. In the meantime, we can wipe out the rest of the bandits. I mean, this wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, so here's Hivitao. I don't know where Isabella is.
Hum. I guess there was a relic over there. Yeah, now that we have those imp blacksmith upgrades, it's really helpful. I mean, we have El Cid. Or Gonzalo, but mostly El Cid. Yeah, these guys only have Castle Age upgrades. Guess you couldn't attack that way. I don't have any idle military units right now. Hmm. Oh, that's not... Oh, I guess green has another camp over that way. Take him down, boys. Trainer at the castle. Okay. I mean, it's definitely an interesting first scenario with a ton of moving parts. It was just like right around here, it was so incredibly difficult. I don't love the map design though. Alright, Joan. It was a great honor for you to be here. Please allow me to host a banquet for you. Please, uh, people here don't want the Civil War to spread to this bustling commercial something something. We are victorious! Oh boy, that was nice, KD. We'll have to uh, IR winner it so we can get the outro because they never fixed that bug. Relic over here, relic over here. Oh, we could have found some Cavalier and Elite Conquistador over here. That's cool. Like there are so many like little uh, places to explore and whatnot. Like it, it is a really cool scenario. Definitely let me know what happens if we would have uh, taken down that crep post. Defeated the bandits. Yeah, you had this whole area over here. I mean, it's just so much going on. Medina del Campo. Let's go ahead... Uh, with the support of many nobles in Castile, Alfonso waged a civil war against his half-brother Enrique IV, uh, whom they routed in Olmeda. Uh, the young and vigorous Alfonso was extremely brave on the battlefield, while the timid King Enrique fled the battle and hid in a neighboring village until the end of the battle. Alfonso's army also captured the impregnable city of Segovia and rescued his sister Isabella. The siblings finally reunited and uh, greet each other excitedly, and uh, Isabella and her entourage became part of the court of the new king, Alfonso. 
Just when things are going well for King Alfonso's court, the young siblings happily prepared to rule the com- country, fantasizing that they are the masters of a better world. But then something unexpected happens. Only 14 years old King Alfonso died suddenly. Oh, no. No one can really figure out why such a promising young ruler died. Some said it was an epidemic, while others said he was poisoned by a conspiracy. However, no one around him was infected with the same disease as him, nor did he show any known symptoms of poisoning and death. The supporters of the anti-Enrique forces were not so protective of Isabella by this time, and they quickly sent her to Avila while there was a fierce debate about what should be done with her. Uh, At this time, a new round of plague is breaking out in Avila, which shows how indifferent people are to the female heir to the throne. At this moment, Isabella, who was still immersed in the pain of losing her dear brother, showed her strength and determination. She made her first of many major decisions that changed her life and destiny. She knew that her orthodoxy as a female heir could not be compared with that of Enrique, so she chose to reconcile with Enrique IV. After a series of hasty negotiations, uh, an agreement was reached between her and her half-brother. Isabella was accepted as his heir and given her own estate, the city of Avila, the prosperous Medina del Campo, and several towns. Enrique IV also assured her that she'd never be forced to accept a marriage that she did not did, that did not conform to her wishes. In exchange, her marriage must also be approved by her brother. Isabella renews her allegiance to Enrique IV and saves her brother's face. It seems that the relationship between the two brothers and sister uh, can be resolved and reconciled, but what happens next often backfires. Feels bad, man. All right, so lots of drama and backstabbing and poisoning and all that stuff. And a perfect couple will be next up. Um, Looks like one year later. See you guys next time for that.